Hello Righteous, welcome to day 72 of 365 Days of the Righteous. Yes. My name is Goke Ode. Psalms 72 verse 7. In his days the righteous shall flourish and abundance of peace until the moon is no more. Psalm 72 is a prayer by Solomon for himself as a king. King David, Solomon's father, taught him to prize wisdom highly as the most important thing. No wonder when God gave Solomon a blank check, he knew exactly what to ask. Let's take a quick side journey to see that in Proverbs 4, verses 3 to 8. When I was my father's son, tender and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words, keep my commands and live, get wisdom, get understanding, do not forget, nor turn away from the words of my mouth, do not forsake her and she will preserve you, love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom and in all you're getting, get understanding, exalt her and she will promote you. She will bring you honor when you embrace her. Now, this is a side journey, but I believe it will bless you as much as our main subject for today. To know that David had a lot to do with Solomon asking for an understanding heart and wisdom when God gave him a blank check. Now, again, Psalm 72 is a prayer Solomon prayed for himself as king. And we can and should pray the same prayer for our leaders on a very regular basis. We discussed how important it is for us to pray for those in authority yesterday. And if you missed it, I recommend that you go back to it. In fact, Paul told Timothy that should be done first of all. Today we see some of the benefits we enjoy when we pray for those in authority. In his days the righteous shall flourish and abundance of peace until the moon is no more. Now, this is a two-edged prophecy. It's a prophecy about Jesus and for the king that is being prayed for. Now, when we pray for our leaders, we can believe for and speak forth these words that in the days of our president or whoever is the number one citizen in your nation, the righteous shall flourish and there shall be abundance of peace. Hallelujah. It, in New Living Translation, it says, May all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. Hallelujah. When righteous people prosper in any nation, that nation is in for a good time. Because prosperity enables and empowers uh, people to do what's already in their hearts. Let's take a look at some of the advantages of prosperity of the righteous. Proverbs 11, 10 to 11. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. Now, this is a great reason for you as a righteous to really prosper. Because when righteous people prosper, when you as a righteous person prospers, a lot of people get to enjoy that too. Because the righteous is generous and kind-hearted and we use his or her prosperity to further good causes. But prosperity in the hands of the wicked is trouble for a lot of people. Proverbs 28 verse 12 in New Living Translation when the godly succeed, everyone is glad. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. Now, the prosperity of the righteous means a better life for many other people. Hallelujah. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rules, the people groan. That is Proverbs 29 verse 2. We don't want wicked men ruling over us. All over the world, Whenever wicked men prosper or when they are in leadership, the people groan. Now, all that needs to happen for wicked men to keep ruling is for good and righteous people to do nothing. 
Now, will you begin to take action today? Starting with praying and then taking needed actions. Like exercising your civil right to elect good leaders. And even running for political offices if God is calling you to, to do so. While praying still. Again today, let's pray for our president and all those in authority. Same prayer as we prayed yesterday, but adding today's verse to it. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus and we pray, give your love of justice to our president, O God, and righteousness to our leader and all those in his council. Help him judge your people in the right way. Let the poor always be treated fairly. May the mountains yield prosperity for all and may the hills be fruitful. Help him to defend the poor, to rescue the children of the needy, and to crush their oppressors. May all the godly flourish during his reign. May there be abundant prosperity until the moon is no more. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me today for 365 Days of the Righteous. I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. Don't forget, let's keep praying for our leaders. 